All right, what's up everyone? Kirk Gibson here. I'm gonna do something a little bit different today and I am going to break down the final point of the Women's World Ultimate Club Championships. I've been meaning to do this for a while, but unfortunately just haven't had a chance to do it. But this game was so incredible. I wanted to go back and do it and offer my thoughts around the final point. Uh, just the uh, break breaking down what I saw. For those of you who haven't seen the game, I'm putting the the link in the description below. Definitely go check it out. It was absolutely incredible. I was in the I had to leave early from the tournament, and I was in the Denver airport with my fiance, and we were just watching it and just being like, "Wow, I can't believe this is happening." I mean, that's how incredible. The game was a lot of back and forth and uh, just just incredible. So if you haven't watched it, go watch it first. This is certainly a spoiler alert, um, but I what I'm going to do here is offer some thoughts around strategy and my thoughts on the final point. Uh, universe point is a very stressful moment. Um, all is on the line, and in this case, it's the difference between a gold medal and a silver medal. So. I'm going to talk about some of my thoughts and what I see here, what I saw on the final point. And without further ado, let's jump into it. And so um, just be just as we kick off, just to provide a little bit of perspective of where we are in the game. Obviously, it's it's universe point. It's 13-13. Fury went out to a 3-0 lead, uh, started off really strong. Columbia then battled back and pretty much led throughout the uh, middle part of the game. They were up 13-11. Fury has now scored the last two points, and now this is the final point. So uh, it all comes down to just this one final point. In my opinion, I'd certainly rather be receiving than than pulling, uh, but Columbia is definitely, the pressure is definitely on Columbia right now because um, the offense has been out there, uh, they just got broken, and you know the pressure's on them. Um, so it's certainly an exciting for some of the top players, especially. But it's an exciting place to be because you know you, you can you can you can win it for, help win it for the team, or you can be the one to to lose it. But as we're going to see here, both teams have chances to win the game, and so these little tiny things that I'm going to go through and kind of point out. Uh, can be the difference between a gold medal and a silver medal. So, you know, for those that are younger players and 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 learning how to play and you know aspire to play at these levels, um, working on the little things, the fundamentals, can make differences between championships and second place. So, uh, obviously, all these are super talented athletes um, and really the top players within the women's game. Um, but at the end of the day, this is competition, it's exciting, and the pressure is on. So let's jump into it. So the first thing I'm going to point out here is that uh, now I don't know Fury's roster as well as I have in the past, but um, I'm familiar with a number of the players, and uh, one that is not on the line right now, I am, you know, just as an outsider, would question why Opie Payne isn't on the line. She just played the previous point. So you could argue that she wasn't as fresh, but to me, she looked fresh. She scored the last goal. She was ready to go, fired up, and she's been a top player uh, within the women's game over the last number of years. She's got championship level experience. She's helped lead her team to championships. Um, I don't know why she's not out here, but to me, it looked like she belongs out here on the final point. Um, so that's just before we get started. One thing to note, um, I think she matches up really well with the Colombians. A lot of them are shorter, but faster and quick. And I think she she matches up really well with them. So uh, just something to call out before we get started here. So here's the opening pull from Kayla. Um, as you're going to see, Revolution is got Manuela near the disc. You got Yina there. Valeria is hanging close. So here I'm going to point out something. So uh Columbia came down in kind of a side stack on the top part of your screen, but really just looks to be playing the same type of game that they've played most of the game and a lot of short, quick passes focusing on the breaks with their top players. And so generally that handling core is Manuela, Valeria, and Yina, uh, Cartagena. So some combination of the three plus some of the others. 
Um, so right here, you've got Manuela with the disc. Valeria is open here on the top side of the screen. So this usually is immediate throw, but jitters are already here. The, the pressure is on. Any tiny little mistake can happen. As you're going to see, it almost results in a turnover. Manuela faked. Sometimes early on, you're trying to look for something big to to get you know a longer pass or just kind of break things open and relieve the, the stress a little bit. So you saw Manuela throw a fake there. Valeria didn't turn. She kept coming. So Manuela's really thinking, okay, I, I, I guess I'm going to throw this now. And she hesitates a little bit. As you can see, she throws it almost behind Valeria, almost resulting in a turnover. So right away, the second pass of the game, almost resulting in a turnover. Again, some jitters here, very natural. And these are two top players have such an incredible amount of experience. So it can happen to anybody. Obviously, this didn't uh, happen to be a turnover. You know, their, uh, Valeria is very athletic, you know, can make a, a play to just stick her arm out and catch the disc. But nonetheless, you just want to be safe. And Manuela did take the safe route and was able to get a throw off. So now you've got Yina, Valeria working here. Yina with a nice break backhand. Fury here is kind of with a really like a straight up mark here. You can see. So they're giving the flick a lot and putting pressure on those dumps. Uh, but they're trying to prevent that backhand. But as you're going to see, uh, Colombia does a really nice job of breaking the backhand a number of times. So there's Manuel getting it again. Again, backhand, Mark doesn't get on in time. So Colombia looking really good here. Their top players are right around the Frisbee. They are working it wide open. So right here, they're essentially 15, 18 yards out of the end zone. You see one of their uh, receivers there. Uh, she's Elizabeth. She's she's got the disc, dumps it to Valeria. So it's a good position to be if I'm Columbia. So Fury is really on the ropes right now. They you know haven't really been able to put much pressure on them. They've been getting broken, and it's so important to have strong marks in these situations. If you get broken, it can just ruin a lot of good defense. So okay, something I want to call out here. So the the majority of this point up until this far. Manuela, Valeria, Yina have all been close to the disc. But what I want you to point out here is something really, really interesting is that Manuela is on the left side of your screen. You can see her over here. She's left the handle space. I assume she's she's run a lot. She's played a lot of points. She's tired. And she's got a very good defender and Claire on her that's making her work. So Valeria now is moving away from the Frisbee. She's clearing up the sideline. And Yina is now going to be left here with 90 and then Volchuk here in a second. So you're, you're just going to watch. So two of the top three handlers are leaving. And in these tense situations, you generally want to have the Frisbee in your top player's hands because they are just, just with their experience and talent, um, they're able to handle some of these high pressure situations. And now we're getting close to the end zone. It's It gets tight. So, But as you're going to see, so now Valeria leaves. And so now you're going to see Volchuk in the middle of your screen, who, by the way, incredible player. I saw her playing at Germany on the uh, uh, German team, mixed team in um, at the uh, World uh, World Games, and just an incredible talent. I was super impressed with her. Um, she's am amazing, and she's got Kayla guarding her and doing really well. Um, but you're going to see she is not a player that has been playing for Revolution for many years, unlike some of these players. So she's coming in from the outside and looking in, and of course, fitting in very nicely considering the position where Columbia is in, as in the championship final on Universe Point. But some of these things can happen with when you don't have your top players in and players that don't have the same type of chemistry. And then you're going to see Montagna come in too, and they're going to run to the same space because Yina over here on your right side of your screen is getting left here alone. If I were the coach, if I were um, you know, coaching, I would want Manuela or Valerie or Yina, at least two of them to just be close by to have that comfort and just to have that uh, level of, of, of you know comfort around the Frisbee and avoid any potential situations. So you see Yina throws it. They were both open, but because they were both clogging and they both were, oh, I don't know what to do. Anna Nazaroff was able to come in and make a really nice play on it. Anna, of course, been around for a long time, incredible player, uh, really good heads up play. So just to see those little things, just a tiny little thing to notice. And most most folks would say, oh, you know, it's just kind of an unlucky break. But you know what? When two of your top handlers kind of clear out of the space, 
you're kind of left with something that you're not as used to. So anyway, so now Fury has the Frisbee and just to be, you know, just again, from what I'm observing right away, you got Manuela. We mentioned she's a little tired at uh, the end of the last point because she wasn't near the handle spot. Look how far she is away from Claire. She's just kind of clogging now, which again is not necessarily a indication of total uh, fatigue. She's, you know, Fury has a spread offense and Manuel is, you know, a smart player. She's helping clog. Um, but nonetheless, you're going to see here that Columbia's marks, they're kind of far off their, uh, they're the throwers there. You see here, Valeria now is five yards off. She kind of just standing up straight. Uh, you saw the previous marker get there pretty slow. You know, Elizabeth is, is closer, putting on a better mark here. But again, Valeria really just kind of poaching. So there's not a lot of pressure right now. So Fury, they if they just are smart here and, and they can just take the easy throw, and every second that we've watched, there's generally been an option that's pretty wide open. So if Fury can just take those easy options, shouldn't be a problem. So there's Claire making a nice undercut on Manuela. Um you got Anna here. Everything's everything's pretty open, been pretty easy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pause this here. So Anna threw that on stall basically one, and Fury is kind of ended up in kind of a side stack to the left. So there's just a ton of open space right here, and the 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 problem with this throw is that it's just a it's it, Anna's a, an incredible thrower, but on universe point this is a tough throw to throw perfectly and you just want to play the percentages here and she throws it on stall one there's probably going to be a better option but she throws it kind of not only down the field but she throws it towards the sideline i'm going to play this out here and you're going to see that you just have to throw this throw almost perfect to make this happen revolution makes a nice d there and is able to do that but just so it's it's fine to throw a longer pass uh, generally, the shorter ones are obviously higher percentage, but Anna threw that one downfield and then off to the side. So it just made it really hard um, to throw that perfectly, and the percentages just get lower when you throw it out to space like that. Okay, so we're going to pause here. We're going to skip ahead. Um, there's a substitution that occurs here. I'm not actually clear what happens, but we're going to skip through here. Um, so Opie actually ends up coming on the field. Um, so she's able to get in. There's that nice D right there from, from Revolution. So, you know, Ina's got the disc. So Columbia's got the disc back. This is good uh, for them, obviously. So you've got Valeria with the Frisbee, Volchuk open. So here you've got the Cardena sisters. Now they're working kind of short, short game. Manuela calls Yina back in. And then smartly just kind of comes right back. Now Yin is open. So again, that was a break backhand again. So Columbia doing a nice job of breaking it up that sideline. If I'm Fury right now, I'm yelling to hold those marks because that is the biggest way that they have, Columbia has marched up the field is those break backhands. I'm going to skip ahead here. So there's... We're going to see the replay here in a second, but basically this was a dump pass from Yina to Manuela. And let's see if we can see the replay here go. You can see kind of, so Claire plays nice defense. Tough to see there, but uh, basically what ends up happening is, is oh, you're going to see it here again. Let's watch. So you can see Claire kind of looked like she gave her a push, but Manuela kind of did a rounded cut. Claire looked like she had position, but Claire shows good sportsmanship here. She seems to think that um, she blocked Manuela from getting there. So by the way, that's a really tough call to make at this level on universe point. So kudos to, to Claire. Great, great sportsmanship there because they're only 20, 25 yards outside of the end zone and she gave them the Frisbee, but um, that's a great play and display of sportsmanship by, by Claire. You love to see that. So now Revolution is here. They're just kind of playing ding and dunk. So you've got, so remember what I said earlier. So their primary handlers, Yina, Valeria, Manuela, their top players should be near the Frisbee, especially near the end zone. The pressure's on. The fatigue is high on all sides. This is the difference between gold and silver. I would want them at least 
one, probably two, if not all three, at least close to the Frisbee. And so you're going to see here, you've got Volchuk here. She's got the Frisbee. Manuela, Valeria, and Yina are all downfield. So you can see Yina's about to come back, right? But now she goes away. Manuela then turns around. So now you've got Aleja. You've got Volchuk just playing give and go, and they're certainly perfectly capable, doing a great job here. But again, you, Yina... Manuela, Valeria are out of the picture right now. And so now you've got Montagna come around. And then, so see what happened there? Again, so Volchuk, such an incredible player. Just a little bit, that tiniest bit, a lack of chemistry, can make the difference between a turn and a completion. And it's so small and so subtle, but Montagna ha has not played with Volchuk as much. And I'm willing to bet that if it was Manuela or Ian or Valeria or one of the players she's played with a long time, that that probably wouldn't have been a turnover. Can you say that fully? Probably not. But again, those are the little tiny things that can make the difference. And so you see Volchuk just makes a nice, easy, easy throw. She throws it a little bit low. Maybe she would have known that Montani was expecting kind of a jump, uh, a jump pass, right? A little bit higher. And maybe that's how um, they've thrown it. So just, you know... Those tiny little things can make the difference between a turnover. So, you know, again, if 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 Columbia gets the disc back, I'm thinking Manuela, Yina, Valerie, have got to stay closer to the disc. So Fury is off and running right here. I'm going to pause it here because Opie's about to Opie's about to huck this. And so, just like last point, Fury had so much space. So if I'm Fury right now, I'm telling them just take the open pass and don't throw anything risky because Columbia has not exactly put a lot of pressure on um, Fury's Fury's the one that has has made the mistakes here. So you're going to see Opie just throw a backhand deep to space. And so, like I mentioned, I, I wouldn't have thrown this just because it's kind of a, uh, yes, Opie has that throw. She can make that. But you're looking at a close to 50-50 chance if it's thrown perfectly. Um, but Manuela right here, Yes, she's been fatigued, but she's an incredible player. And watch, she was kind of jogging here, but you can just see the wind is not perfect. It was just a little bouncy in the in the stadium. And you're going to see Manuel realize, oh, wait, I can get this. And she turns on the Jets, and she's able to make that play. So I know that's something Opie would want back um, because it just you know was was a little too opportune for universe points. And so you know she wasn't in from the beginning, so... She had just gotten the Frisbee, just just came in and, you know, perhaps was a little bit jittery um, and ready to kind of make a play and, and, and make a statement. But unfortunately, um, it didn't pan out for, for Fury there. So now, so now Columbia's got the disc again. So two turnovers by each team. And by the way, I'm going to just do a quick rewind right there. So this is something, again, very subtle, but um, a lot of players... A lot of players do this, and it works a lot of the time, um, but just something you need to be careful of. So what Volchuk's going to do here, she fakes the backhand because it's a little tight, a good pressure defense, and then she's going to throw the backhand to the top part of the screen and kind of where the, the, the on the flick side. But Kayla, all these, everybody here is just an incredible player. Kayla's a tremendously good marker. OK, and she is can see this and is reads this with Volchuk. So she sticks her arm out there and probably it's, I, I wasn't there, but it looks like she gets all disc. And that's usually what happens when you throw a backhand to the flick sideline is you get all disc. And I'm trying to slow this down real quick. Yeah, it looks like Kayla there gets all disc. Now, uh, I, Kayla shows great sportsmanship, realizes that it was still in her hand, but if that had been released, that would have been a point block. Now, if that ended up going to the observer because there was you know, some uncertainty there, a lot of times those can get ruled as a D, even though it looks like it's clearly still in Volchuk's hand. So if you're looking to do that, just make sure that you're going to get that backhand off without the marker um, without the marker potentially being able to D it because a lot of times if it goes to the observer, usually those are all disc and don't hit any arm. So sometimes those can those don't go your way. So you just want to be careful when you're throwing that. And uh, again, Kayla, although clearly all disc, realizes it was still in Volchuk's hand 
and shows good sportsmanship there. So again, another good, good sportsmanship from, from Fury in a very, very tense situation. So now revolution is going to keep going again, some nice backhands up the sidelines, some dinking and dunking here between Yina, Valeria. Now motani has got it back to Manuela. <clears throat> so they're just going to do some digging and dunking here. And now Volchuk's going to pass to Manuela. And I'm going to pause it right here. So Manuela sees Elizabeth, who's a, a great player, great receiver, has great speed. The Fury defender, look here on the left side of the screen, is, is behind her. So Elizabeth is still setting up her cut. Manuela has space. So again, if I'm... If I'm Revolution, you guys have been doing a good job getting it up the field. No need to risk anything. But watch what Manuela does. This is this is one a ton of trust in Elizabeth and just knowing the speed and skill as a receiver that she has. And of course, Manuela has great throws. But why, again, Man, Elizabeth is is in front of the the defender and she's got a good position. And Manuela throws it. Elizabeth runs by her and almost makes the play, gets a hand on it, almost and just incredibly amazing bid and almost with an incredible way to win win the final. So again, Manuela a little too excited. Of course, she's an incredible receiver, but those are the types of plays that you just want to throw a fake and live another day and dump it around. Um, little, again, both sides showing a little bit jitters and a little too loose with the Frisbee. So again, I'm going to point out here again, revolution, kind of soft, do some poaching. There's open people on Fury's, on, on, on Fury's team. You've got a Manuela playing a little bit under Claire, doing some walking there. Again, they're both tired. This has been a long point. So if I'm Fury, take the easy throw. There's an easy one right there that was missed, but that's okay. Anna's open. So again, there's open people right now for Fury. Anna's got the disc again, and here's the the decisive turn here in the game Anna has an open dump she's got an open one right there looks it off and now she's going to throw a pass upfield again she's looking at 5 10 15 20 plus yards there's not even a receiver in sight Anna's an incredible thrower but that it looked like she had a little bit of hesitation there and they the receiver wasn't able to make the play and then Revolution was able to turn in so uh, <laughs> incredible performance from both teams revolution gutted it out with a tremendous tremendous uh gutsy gutsy win for them this was just really kind of brewing for so many years they're still a very young team uh have a long road ahead of them uh you know really kudos to them just a great program that Mauricio and 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 crew have have really put together. It's just just incredible to watch. Uh, you know, if I'm Fury right now, uh, definitely disappointed. <clears throat> I think that really this game should have been won by them. I do think that they were the better team. I think they were deeper, um, but just kind of some inopportune mistakes that uh, you know Revolution was able to to capitalize on was was the difference. So. Um, this again was an incredible game. If you guys haven't had a chance to watch the full game, uh, go check it out. This was just an amazing, amazing performance again from both teams. And again, like I said, one of the best games you will ever see, uh, in, in the game, especially in the women's division and in a world ultimate club championship final. So go check it out. Hope you enjoyed this. Leave any comments or thoughts in the, uh, in the comments below. And we'll see you guys soon.